Good morning, my blocked students. I hope that you are doing well and that you are safe, inshallah, as usual. Today, kids, as you can see, we're going to start with a very interesting story. This story is talking about, as you can see, the title of the story is Sue the Tadpole. So, in this story, we're going to be talking about frogs, how do they grow, what is the life cycle for the frogs? So, it's a very interesting lesson with a very, very interesting information. So, are you ready to start? Perfect. Let's get started. But before we start, tell me, do you like frogs? What do you think? Do we consider frogs as pets? What do you think? Tell me. So, let's start with the story. First, we're going to identify what is the genre of the story. As you can see, the genre of the story is animal fantasy. What does that mean? Animal fantasy, we're talking about stories in which animals behave, they act as human beings. In that, they experience emotions, they talk, they have the ability to communicate, okay? So, in the animal fantasy stories, the characters are animals, and these animals, they behave just like humans, which means they talk, they have emotions, they communicate. So, this is what we mean by animal fantasy. These fantasies are often vehicles for exploring human emotions, values, and relationships. So, usually they deliver a message at the end, at the very end of the story. Usually, animal fantasy story, they tend or they mean to give you a moral lesson at the end. Now, before we start, I need you to think of these questions first. What do you think the story is going to be about from the title? What do you know about frogs and their life cycle? And have you ever waited for something so bad to happen? How did you feel? Because this is what our story is going to be about. So, let's start with the story. As you can see here, we have Sue. This is the main character of the story. We have Dad and mom. Where does the story happen? The story happens in a pond. Can you see this body of water? This is what we call the pond. So, the story happens in a pond. So, Sue the Tadpole. Look at this picture. Here we have the frog, the mother, and here we have the dad. And we have flies, we have bugs, insects, they are in the pond. We have fish here. And this is Sue, the small tadpole. Look at her face. Is she happy? Is she sad? Is she worried? What do you think? Sure, she's not happy, right? Maybe she is scared, maybe she is worried, maybe she's sad, right? Let's see why. Sue, the new tadpole, so this is the tadpole, because as you know, frogs, when they hatch from uh, the eggs, they start to grow as a tadpole. Look at the tadpole. They don't have arms or legs. They have a very small tail at the beginning. So, Sue, the new tadpole, rested on a leaf. So, she took a rest on this leaf. She rested on a leaf in the deep blue water in this pond. Dad and Mom saw Sue. The bugs, they saw Sue. A fish saw Sue. A bird flew by. Look at the, fur. Look at the bird. Uh, saw Sue also. Sue felt alone. Look at Sue. She's alone. Nobody is talking to her. Nobody is playing with her. She is really alone. Sue felt a bit scared. She really was scared. She was alone. Look at this picture. Here we have mom and Sue 
in her arms, right? So, what do you think? Why did mom hold Sue in her arms? What do you think? So, let's see. Mom held Sue gently, kindly. Look at Sue. She is in her mother's arms. Sue was cold and wet. Look, she was cold, she was wet, she was scared, she was really sad, maybe. She moaned, which means she complained. Mom, when will I be a big frog? She's asking. Mom said, soon. It is true. You will be a big frog in a few weeks. The only thing that you need to do is to wait until you are a really very big frog. Now, look at Sue. She is still sad. Sue swam in the pond. Look, she is in the pond. She said sadly, I have no arms or legs. Usually, tadpoles, they don't have legs or arms. I can dive, I can move under the water, I can swim, but I can't jump. I want to be a real frog in order to jump. So, she really can't wait to be a real frog in order to jump and to enjoy the time because now, as a tadpole, she can dive she can swim, but she can't jump. Look at her dad. Her dad is jumping super fast and he's really good at jumping. Why? Because he is a real frog, a very big frog. Look at his legs, at his arms. Now, Sue saw dad jump and hop. Dad jumped from leaf to leaf. Sue was still sad. Look at her. When will I grow up to be a real frog? She asked. She really can't wait to be a real frog. Soon, Dad said, you will be a big frog in a few weeks. You only need to wait until good things happen to you. Now, Sue was getting bigger and bigger. Look at her. Now, sorry, now she had a tail. Look at the tail that she had right now, right? But where were her arms and legs? She didn't have any arms or legs, right? A fish swam by. The fish stopped to talk, to chat with Sue. Look at Sue. She had a very big tail, but she didn't have any arms or legs. Sue was tired. Look at her. She was really tired. She moaned. She complained. I have a tail now, but I have no arms or legs. I want to be a real frog. Sue wished for arms and legs so she could jump just like her dad. She regrets that she doesn't have any legs or arms because she really wants to hop and jump just like her dad. Look at her dad, look at Sue, look at the small legs that Sue starts to have. Now she is growing, right? Time went by slowly. Sue swam in the deep blue water. Her legs were growing. Look at her legs. They were growing. She swam fast. She still wanted to be big enough to swim with her dad. She really wants to be as strong as her dad. 
Now, look at Sue. Look at the arms that she starts to have. And look at the legs and look at the tail. Now, she's dreaming. She's thinking. Time went by. Sue's legs grew and grew. New arms were growing. Look at her new arms. Sue couldn't wait to jump. Just like her dad, she's dreaming, she's imagining herself jumping just like her dad. Now, look at this. Sue was really excited. She said to dad, look at me, I can jump. Finally, Sue can jump. I can hop. Look at Sue, she's really happy. Mom said I would get big. She said I would grow. Mom was right and I am glad. Yippee! She's really happy. She's really glad because now she is big enough to jump just like her dad, right? Dad and Sue sat on a lily pad. They sat on this pad. They saw their faces in the deep blue water. They are looking at themselves. Sue and Dad smiled. They are happy. They are smiling. They were so happy. Sue was a real frog now. She could hop. She could jump. She wanted to hop and jump all the time. Sue read a sign on the shore. There was a sign on the shore. There was a jumping show. Sue was a good jumper now. She won the show. So she entered that competition and she won the show. Sue got a prize. Look at the beautiful prize that she got. Sue thought, waiting for arms and legs was hard, but they were worth waiting for. So always remember that it is really good sometimes to wait until good things happen to you. Thank you so much and see you soon.